Sometimes it's hard to see yourself beyond the pain or grief or beyond the fear. In this digital, I will share how I personally I know teachers who have gone through losses and students who go through moments of fear. Teachers and students can help each other through those paralyzing moments. Like my mom, I was born and raised in the island of Thailand. She, a single mother, told me what made her first. My childhood was fun, small island, school, church, the beach, hanging with family and friends, music, Oh, so much music. I think I cried for two weeks straight when I moved to New York in 2000. But my biggest moment of pain and grief and fear came when I lost my mom in 2015 after she had fallen ill and eventually passed away. I did not think that I could make it through these days. I tried to cope with my grief. Some days are better than others, but I know that I would not have survived this without my family my biological family and friend I still hold close to my emotions and I call the other people who miss me free. But I have learned that when it's needed, I have the most for support system that ESAC can be in high school. Tom Sherrington, a head teacher in England, also shares that it is best to deal with our grief by talking and laughing about the person we've lost, by celebrating their life and how much they meant to us and keeping their spirit alive in our collective consciousness. In doing this, it not only helps us put our troubles in perspective, but it reminds us how fortunate we are and how important it is to belong to a world and love.